Keisha Ann King asked me, how did you approach the fact that you finally needed to seek help? I'm currently going through my own struggles and I know I need help, but I'm scared. Oh, and yeah, Keisha, I totally get that. Honestly, like even before, like I went into treatment this year and even being there a lot of days, like it can be such a scary thing. And honestly, like I was really, really scared to go. And, and I guess like for me, it was, kind of crazy because I know like for such a long time online there was like so many people I guess kind of like telling me that I needed help and pointing that out and like so many people seemed to like see a problem I don't know for a long time like I felt really bad because I just felt like so many people were like really angry at me and that was never my intention to like upset so many people at all I guess like sometimes like when you're dealing with struggles like at least like for me like even though I guess so many people would be saying things like oh eat something skeleton like all this stuff like I wouldn't really see myself the way that a lot of other people were seeing me it might sound like really crazy because I know for a while there was like so many comments like that but I wasn't really seeing things like the way other people were I guess and I'm just kind of always thinking like well there's probably so many other people and like there's a lot of other people that have things like worse than I do so I shouldn't even be thinking like there's something wrong or like I have a problem because I find lots of people that have things worse you know so then I would kind of think like I would kind of I guess kind of convince myself that like I was okay kind of just know that like you do deserve to get help and that like it is okay to sometimes like reach out and to get that help and you're actually making a really brave good decision doing that and that you do deserve that I guess when things for me were getting to kind of like a really bad like dangerous point which I wasn't always really seeing it was like my mom like she was starting to get kind of really concerned where things I guess were reaching a pretty extreme point I guess so she like did bring up concern to me and then like eventually I did end up getting help which was really hard but yeah just like know that sometimes like as hard as it can be to do that that like you really do deserve to be happy and like you really do deserve to like get help for yourself and to live a really good life and that it is okay to reach out sometimes so second starlight asked me um, can I talk about how to gather the courage to admit needing help? I'm in a position where I'll constantly deny my disorder to my family even though it's apparent. I think it's also really important to just to know that like your disorder or whatever you're dealing with like definitely just like does not define you and just know that like there's so much more to you as a person than just like whatever mental illness or problem you might be dealing with like whether that's like an eating disorder, depression, anxiety, like anything. I just think it's like really important to also like remind yourself that like you are more than just that thing and that there's so much more to you as a person than just that. Little Fear said, I'd love to hear what you think about dealing with guilt when you're not following what your compulsion tells you to do. I think it's not something that is really talking about, that the process of getting better doesn't always feel good. And yeah, Little Fear, I totally get that because like, I don't know, a lot of days like when I was in treatment, like it wasn't I guess like every day was just like super magical and great and there was a lot of hard days there was a lot of days I would just be like crying a lot even like leaving rehab and all that like even like getting out like there was still a lot of hard days and there was still a lot of times I would just be like crying a lot and it was definitely not easy and I think that sometimes people kind of do think that like when you go to get help that you just kind of I guess come out like perfect and totally better and like feeling totally better about things but sometimes like you still really can deal with like some pretty hard emotions and feelings but I guess like something that like I would say is just kind of like try to like remind yourself of like how far like you have come and don't even like sometimes think if you do make a mistake or anything like that that like you should still be like really proud of yourself for like coming this far and that you did make like a really brave decision like choosing to get help and and even after all you've been through like still being here and still trying just know that I think that's like super great that you're choosing to try to like go down like a good path with your life and I would say like just kind of like remind yourself like how far you've come and kind of like you can definitely keep going and yeah